Living across from the house of the three masters in the courtyard, they were all prepared to face the birds, but became the public manager of Su Huijian's small tavern. What? Is Li, the deputy director of the steel rolling mill, his third uncle? What? Fan Jinyu regards him as a good friend, Chui Daik was still promoted by him, and Su Damao has been flattering him Fan Jinyu, Chui Daik, Su Damao, along with Li Jianhua, are still some of the four outstanding young people, but they all look like the villain alliance no matter how they look. Keywords of the novel Go back to the past, starting from the company manager without pop-ups, go back to the past, starting from the company manager, download the complete TXT collection, go back to the past, starting from the company manager, read the latest chapters. Chapter 1 Rocket Begins you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 1 Rocket begins snoring, hiccup comfortable. Three barrels of instant noodles, three ham sausages, and three soy egg came down, and Li Jianhua directly came to the classic Guyu to lie down. The satisfaction of getting food made him feel that the whole person was almost flying when he patted his stomach. Li Jianhua wore it and inexplicably arrived at this place while live streaming sales in the warehouse. After experiencing a headache of accepting memories, he quickly accepted reality. It's not that he's crazy, but that he's too hungry to care about anything else. The first thing to do after receiving the memory is to quickly light up the stove, and after boiling water, three large buckets of instant noodles came directly, which helped to recover. The original owner, also known as Li Jianhua, was just 14 years old and had just graduated from junior high school. According to the original owner's memory, it is now the winter of five or five years, and studying here is five plus two, which means five years of primary school and two years of junior high school. If we calculate the age, starting from seven years old and graduating from junior high school, wouldn't it be fourteen years old? By the way, what I just said is not compulsory education. It takes a lot of money to study, and most people are reluctant to spend that money, so Li Jianhua's junior high school diploma is very good. Just say that a primary school is still divided, there are those who have attended junior high school and those who have attended senior high school. In fact, those who have attended grades 1 to 3 are generally referred to as junior high school, while grades 4 to 6 are referred to as senior high school. For example, the second master in the courtyard, Lu Haizhong, always says that he is a senior high school, which is his level. In fact, this guy hasn't even graduated from elementary school. Otherwise, he would have told others that he graduated from high school and elementary school long ago. In the end, he still doesn't have that elementary school graduation certificate. Who knows if he went to high school or elementary school. Speaking of the original owner, this child is also quite pitiful. He lost his mother in his early years. His father, Li Huiren, is a military professional and has become a nearby big brimmed hat, with some ranks. Later on, he didn't continue his studies. Although his salary was good, he was too busy with work and almost raised Li Jianhua in a state of free range. The original owner's academic performance was naturally not very good, and it was already good to graduate from junior high school. If you continue studying, don't expect anything more. Originally, Li Huiren thought that his child would grow up and planned to find his brother Li Huai, who worked on the street, to arrange a temporary worker for his child in the neighborhood committee. However, just a few days after he said this, he fell silent during an operation to catch enemy spies. The sky of the original owner disappeared suddenly, and he was naturally heartbroken. Although he had handled his father's affairs with the help of his two uncles, he was also physically and mentally exhausted. After relaxing, he suddenly caught a cold and had a fever in this big winter, and no one cared about him at home. He followed suit in the cold Kong and cold room, which led to Li Jianhua wearing this outfit. Oh, they're all poor people. Li Jianhua sighed, recalling the memories of the original owner. He is not much better than his original owner. He grew up in a rural area without a father or mother, and was raised by his grandfather. His academic performance was average, and he stumbled all the way to a decent university. In the end, 
he relied on a loan to finish his studies. I originally planned to show off my skills after graduating from college, at least by showing filial piety to his grandfather for so many years, but his grandfather disappeared just six months after graduation. Hey! The old man actually couldn't bear it any longer. He persisted in graduating and passed away with a smile on his face. The deceased had passed away, and the living had to continue. In the end, Li Jianhua could only muster up his energy and go to the city to pursue his career. Because he caught up with the dividend of the internet, Li Jianhua entered the industry early. With years of integrity, he has accumulated a lot of popularity. Live selling is also a small success. I'm in my thirties and I'm doing pretty well. I have a career but not a loan, a house and a car, but I'm missing a wife. I thought I would make a big profit by taking advantage of this trend on November 11th, but I just thought about it. In fact, Li Jianhua could guess to some extent why he didn't get it. He didn't sleep for three days just to make money. After so many years of hard work, he had already become weak. At the age of 30 and 80, it was normal for him to lose his body after so much effort. These things can't be kept. After eating and drinking enough, Li Jianhua's intelligence immediately returned and quickly received the warehouse space for the leftover bucket noodles on the table. These things from later generations cannot be exposed. He doesn't want people to cut them into slices. Besides, this courtyard house is full of people with mixed mouths, like a dog's nose. Even in one's own house, one should pay attention. Everyone understands the principle of not revealing wealth. You're not mistaken, it's just the warehouse space. As a traveler, Li Jianhua naturally has a golden finger, which is the warehouse area where he was before crossing. Emphasizing the three words, warehouse area, it's not just the medium-dot-sized warehouse he live-streamed in, but he has the entire warehouse area after crossing over. There are dozens of warehouses, big and small, covering an area of hundreds of acres. If it were on weekdays, there wouldn't be so much here, but he's already stocking up on February 11th, Li Jianhua knows these warehouses are all full. Li Jianhua just tried, and the time inside seems to be static, which means that the things inside cannot be damaged. It is now five or five years, an era of extreme shortage of resources. Even if these things are put into later generations, they will not be able to reach tens of thousands. Besides this golden finger, the original owner also gave him a big surprise. The original owner had three houses to the east of the courtyard in front of the quadrangle, and the person living opposite was actually Yen Bugue, the third master who was full of emotions. So, does that mean he is in the plot of the quadrangle? Not only that, but there is also a key location and character in the original owner's memory, which is Chin Shueru in the Shueru silk shop. It's not that the original owner, a 14-year-old brat, has any connection with him. The reason why the original owner left such a deep impression on this place is because his father failed to capture the enemy spy in Chin Shueru's backyard. So, this is still the world under the Zhengyang Gate. Jianhua, Jianhua, I'm your third aunt. I'm here to bring you food. Just then, there was a knock on the door, and the person who came was Yen Bugue's wife, the third aunt. San Dema's door hasn't been locked in, right? Li Jianhua quickly observed the table and only responded when he saw that there were no loopholes. The father of the original owner had just passed away, and his two uncles were busy with work. Auntie was still in another province because of his uncle's work. After the two uncles helped to clear Li Huiren's affairs, they entrusted the neighboring three aunties to take care of the original owner. Therefore, in recent days, the three aunties have been delivering food to him. With the family tradition of the Yen family, it is impossible to suffer losses. It is not for free to give food and drink to the original owner. All of these have been paid for, and of course, the Yen family will have to intercept a portion of the food to help cook. The third aunt only entered the room when she heard the sound coming from inside. Her husband is a teacher, and cultural people naturally have cultural rules. Without permission, she would not enter the room. 
Besides, if Li Jianhua is not here, it will save her another meal. Yen Bugui has already calculated for her. Li Jianhua has a strong family background and doesn't care about this matter at all. Anyway, if she does it, it will naturally belong to their family if the other party is not at home. That was the meal last night, so the three aunties still hope that Li Jianhua is not at home. Yen Bugui is really not talking nonsense. Li Jianhua's worth is quite high because his father was not involved in capturing enemy spies, so he directly obtained the title of a martyr's family. In addition to the title, there are various compensations. In addition to the money saved by the original owner's father before, there are only 2,000 yuan in cash and a lot of vouchers. The most important ones are his two uncles, who are definitely prominent characters in movies and TV dramas. His second uncle, Li Huai, is the one on the street, which is the one at Zheng Yangmen. Uncle Li Huai is the high dot ranking and influential deputy factory manager Li, who is full of affection. However, his uncle has not yet reached this position. He is currently serving as the factory manager at the steel rolling plant branch. However, as a college student, it is inevitable that he will be promoted sooner or later. And his aunt, they are the real big shots. His uncle is a big cadre, young and promising, and the family relationship has become tough. Anyway, his second and third uncles have all left their relationship. If it weren't for the loss of the original owner's father, the original owner would have been a safe second dot generation. However, no one dares to provoke him now. Otherwise, at the age of 14, he would have had so much wealth. With the urine nature of the characters in the courtyard, it would be strange if he could have kept it. End of this chapter. Chapter 2 Get a job first. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 2 Get a job first, Jianhua is up. I thought you weren't there. Yesterday afternoon, I called for the door for a while and you didn't say a word. I was thinking about you going to your second uncle's place, third aunt stomped the snow on her foot and said to herself. It snowed heavily last night, and the third aunt did indeed call for half a day. However, by that time, the original owner had already had a high fever, and the unconscious original owner had not heard it at all. Otherwise, there would be no Li Jianhua's current situation. The reason why Aunt San explains so much is not because she is so kind. Her criticism is that she cooked for Li Jianhua. If you don't eat, it's not their fault. In other words, it's a calculation. If you're not here and don't say it in advance, the extra food you make will naturally belong to their family. A mantu, a steamed bun, a bowl of Chinese cabbage soup, this is Li Jianhua's eh, Chinese food. At this time, there is not yet a mention of having three meals, and only those who work hard will add one more meal. Usually, they have two meals, half in the morning and half in the afternoon. They go to bed at night when it gets dark, in order to save some food. Especially after May 5th, this year was very special. In March, the currency currently in use was issued, which is this big black 10 currency. This version of the money was printed with the help of the big brother, which also witnessed the friendship at that time. Although the term unified purchase and sales existed in May 3rd, the widespread use of bills was in May 5th, which means that from this year on, the era of bills for 30 years has arrived. However, these two items have no significant impact on Li Jianhua, and can even bring him many benefits. The reason is naturally his golden finger, which supplies the entire warehouse area. Although Li Jianhua has not yet looked at what is specifically in the warehouse area, in his past life, he did not overlook the fact that people and vehicles were transporting grain inside. The largest warehouse inside was for storing grain. As the saying goes, having food at home doesn't make you feel anxious. Hiccup seeing all this food, Li Jianhua couldn't help but hiccup. It was a hiccup full of instant noodles or braised beef instant noodles. When people were full, it was just like this, and it didn't smell anything. Besides, it's strange that he would only be interested in this meal for future generations. 
If it were for later generations, this huge hiccup would definitely be looked down upon by others. They would scold him a few times and still have to support him. Who wouldn't let him block it a bit? But now, the third aunt is sniffling, her eyes full of envy. She just stared at the oil stains on Li Jianhua's mouth, and now she's even more certain that this kid ate oily fish early in the morning. He's really a loser. However, if you see through it or not, in the eyes of the three mothers, a child of half a year old cannot make a living. Besides, since it is not her own child, she naturally won't say much. Sanda Ma, I've been wanting to open fire for a few days now. You don't need to bring me food anymore. I'm planning to open fire myself, and the days are still long. I definitely can't rely on others for everything. Li Jianhua looked at the food on the table and said to Sanda Ma with a smile. This meal is really not a deduction from the three ants. It's even a high treat. I don't think there is man to. Now it's just such a condition. Who can live a life without saving a little? You have to eat coarse and fine grain together. There are many children in the three ants family, and they are still eating steamed buns. Jianhua, just open it up. Just open it up. There are still five days left this month, so let's take the remaining food for these days, said the third ant with a hint of reluctance in her eyes. People in this era are not so fragile. She knows that Li Jianhua will have to live on his own sooner or later, so Li Jianhua doesn't mind saying so. The three aunties just feel a little worried about the food for these five days, and the processing fee for these five days will be gone. You keep it. In case one day I can't go to your place and have a meal. Li Jianhua joked. This, the three aunties dare not agree, it's just a petty heart. She's afraid that Li Jianhua will really use this as an excuse to go to their house to eat and drink. After a long time, it won't be worth it. If that's the case, it's just a half-year-old kid. Without the help of the third uncle, the third aunt can handle it. But Li Jianhua is different. His second uncle is the top leader on the street, and Aunt Wang from the neighborhood committee has told the three elders in their courtyard that they must take good care of Li Jianhua. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm joking with you. Sandama, could you take some time to cook all the meals for these five days for me? Even if it's cold now, it won't break. Sandama, I don't have any other intentions. I thought I would go find my second uncle to pick up my dad's shift today. I don't know when we'll have dinner after finishing this matter, so you don't have to worry about it. Li Jianhua accepted the memory of the original owner, knew who the three aunties were, and understood the neighborhood relationship at this time. He had indeed pretended a bit earlier, and originally thought that the small amount of food would be enough. He generously gave it to the three aunties and it would be over. The idea of going to the other party's house for dinner was naturally an excuse, but he knew about the reaction of the three aunties, so he changed his tone. Take over. This is a good thing, I understand. We'll do it together in the afternoon. The third aunt was relieved when she heard Li Jianhua say this, and she still thought to herself, after all, there is culture. When you're not old, you're not young. Isn't it just an excuse to deduct two meals from him? We can't blame her. It's because you're not at home, how can we give you a gift? Surprisingly, we played with her and finished it all at once. Now, the three aunties naturally can't take advantage of the original reason. But now it's not bad either. Since she was asked to do the processing fee, it's inevitable. Also, Li Jianhua only talked about the food and didn't mention those two big cabbage. Isn't that why he caught them again? The principle of their family is that they cannot afford to eat or wear, and only those who cannot calculate will suffer poverty. Jianhua, it's not that auntie talks too much. Did your second uncle tell me exactly what position you are in? This big brimmed hat is dangerous, isn't it your dad? Look at my mouth. San Auntie's human nature is still good, and she couldn't help but remind him of his young age. It's okay, Aunt Three. I won't go to the big brimmed hat. My second uncle transferred me to work in the neighborhood committee, 
Li Jianhua explained. The day before yesterday, the second uncle of the original owner also said to the original owner that the big-brimmed hat has a high degree of prestige and danger. Li Jianhua is only 14 years old, so it is definitely not suitable for a half-year-old boy to go to work there. Therefore, he helped him transfer to the neighborhood committee under his jurisdiction, where he is a formal worker and covers the area. Li Jianhua naturally had a smooth sailing. Neighborhood Committee Are we here? San Dema asked in surprise. The power of the neighborhood committee is not small, and it can manage everything in the area, especially in the allocation of work, which is too lucrative. I don't know about this, but I'll ask Uncle Air today, Li Jianhua said casually. It's not that he's hiding it from the other party, it's that he really doesn't know. The original owner has been around these days, so it's good to remember that Uncle Air changed his job for him. He won't even bother about it. Jianhua, you can go right away after eating. It's urgent to work. I'm going back now. When you come back, I'll go home and get Mantu. The third aunt said and left. She had to tell the second aunt about this news. You should know that there are three officials in charge in their courtyard. Don't underestimate this. They live in more than ten households in this courtyard, and after all, there are only one hundred or ten people. If Li Jianhua goes to the neighborhood committee, who will listen to this courtyard in the future? Li Jianhua didn't think so much. He collected the manta buns on the table and prepared to go to his second uncle's for a look. As for the Chinese cabbage soup, forget it. It's just boiled cabbage with water and added some salt. Who can eat this? But he also put it away. Anyway, time is prohibited in the space, so in the future, he can take it out and put on a facade. Kangaroo New Book, Seeking Collection, Seeking Tickets Thank you. End of this chapter Chapter 3 Fan Jin's Face You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Fan Jin's Face Close the Door and Ride Your Bike What's important now is to stay at home all night, as it belongs to your neighbors. Who are you guarding against when you lock the door? Li Jianhua naturally cannot be independent when he comes to this world. Following the crowd is the way, and besides, he doesn't have a lock. The box containing money and tickets had already been given space by him. The thief has just learned how to leave, so whether he can walk from the middle courtyard to the front courtyard is up to him, so he is not afraid of losing anything. As for this bicycle, of course it was left by the original owner's father. After all, the original owner's father is also a big-brimmed hat, at the level of captain. It would definitely be reasonable to have a bicycle. Yo, Jianhua is here. Let's go find Director Li. Let's go, I'll take you over. Old Lu, please remember that he is Li Jianhua, Director Li's nephew. You can't stop him when you see him in the future. Do you hear me? Li Jianhua just arrived at the street when he met the famous cadre fan Jinyu from the film and television series. The original owner's father is gone, but Fan Jinyu, as a street worker, has been busy for several days. The purpose is naturally to flatter for the future, which is not embarrassing. Li Jianhua quickly put away his arrogant demeanor and immediately became enthusiastic. He even greeted the gatekeeper with a dignified demeanor, appearing to be as familiar as Li Jianhua. Of course, this enthusiasm was not directed towards Li Jianhua, but towards Director Li. Old Lu grinned with his teeth wide open, and agreed a few words. He really knows that being a gatekeeper is a great deity. If a great deity doesn't enjoy living in the gatekeeper, no one can provoke him. He definitely won't stop him. Pu a little servant really treats himself like a cadre. When Fan Jin Yu brought Li Jianhua in, Old Lu sneered disdainfully. Fan Jin Yu, who is 24 years old this year and graduated from junior high school, actually got a certificate. If we talk about his education level, he won't be able to support him at all. It's just that the organization was just established, and his level is also among the poor, becoming a regular worker in the street. 
Speaking of which, this person really has a cadre status, just the lowest level of a staff member, but this is also a big threshold. Even if the worker has good skills, it is still a worker status. For example, Yi Zhonghai, a senior in the courtyard, and later an eighth-level worker, it was considered a sky-high salary of 99%. Of course, he is still only a seventh-level worker and has not reached that peak yet. A cadre, even the lowest-level official, earns a salary of 41.5 yuan, which is equivalent to the salary of two apprentices. Directorly, I happened to run into Jianhua on the way and said he had something to do with you, so I brought him over, knocking on the door, Fan Jin said to Li Huai with a hint of flattery. Those who didn't know how familiar he was with Li Jianhua when he said this, but that's also good. Li Huai is preparing to find someone to help him take care of his nephew. Jin Yu, you're here at the right time. Don't rush down to promote it. I'll have Jianhua come to you later, and you can help me take him with you. Li Huai first looked at Li Jianhua's mental state and saw that he was recovering well before saying to Fan Jinyu. Okay Director Li, I'll wait in the office for now. Fan Jin knew that the other party was going to talk to Li Jianhua, so he didn't feel uncomfortable and walked out very wisely. Today he finally caught it. Director Li used to call him Fan Jinyu, but today he is called Jinyu. What does this mean? It shows that our relationship is close, and he is naturally very happy. Air Shu Li Jianhua only called out Air Shu when Fan Jin had left. Huh, Jianhua, I knew you were a good person. Come on, let's sit down and talk. Li Huai patted his nephew's shoulder and said with a smile. His elder brother only left such a child, and of course, he, who is a second uncle, needs to take good care of it. A few days ago, he was very worried when he saw Li Jianhua's listless appearance. Today, when his nephew thought about it, his mood also improved. Uncle, you've been worried these days, Li Jianhua said as he sat on the sofa. Hi, what kind of family talk? Your third uncle and I are also busy with work and don't know how to persuade you. Your aunt is not here, oh. It's really difficult for you, sighed Li Huai. All right, let's not talk about this anymore. Today, er. I have a meeting tonight. When I go back to Uncle Air, I'll ask your aunt to cook a good meal, call your third uncle, and let's have a good chat. Li Huai originally wanted his nephew to go home for dinner tonight, but he has been too busy lately. He has set up a joint venture and has been extremely busy these days. He needs to study well to do his job well. It's okay, uncle. I've figured it out now. You're busy with your business, so I'll go to your place to take a look when I'm free. Li Jianhua is not the original owner, how could he be petty? In the future, he will have to rely on others. Although they have a relationship with uncles and nephews, there is also a layer of difference between them. What should be noted is still important. Okay, it seems that you have really figured it out, Li Huai smiled and gave him a headshot. It's getting late, let me talk about your business. Li Huai looked at the watch on his wrist and got to the point. Don't underestimate his street skills, his level is not low, and his work is also very busy. Jianhua, I'm planning to transfer you to work in the neighborhood committee at Zhenyangmen. And Wang there is an old comrade with strong work abilities, mainly because there are many shops there that are easy to achieve results. Plus, Li Huai habitually said a few more words, but when he thought about his nephew's age, saying so much is probably in vain. Anyway, he paved the way, and he will definitely not be able to lose to Li Jianhua in the future. Forget it, then I've arranged everything for you. Just go there and report on it. You'll receive the clerk's salary, which is 36 yuan per month. Jianhua, I won't give you anything. Remember to keep a low profile when you go there. You go call Fan Jin Yu over and I'll have him take you with you. Li Huai didn't say much when he thought Li Jianhua was still a child. He just instructed him to keep a low profile, and as for their relationship, he couldn't hide it. No one else needed to know, just Fan Jin could spread it to him with that mouth. 
It's also good that people know about this relationship, and no one will cause trouble for his nephew. I know my second uncle, and I promise to listen to Aunt Wang when I go to the workplace, Li Jianhua quickly promised without realizing his second uncle's concerns. As for why his second uncle didn't put him by his side, that's needless to say, we need to avoid suspicion. It would be great to put it down, free and with great opportunities for improvement. The original owner, a child of 14, probably doesn't understand. He's already over 40 in two lifetimes, can he not know? Okay, good director, don't worry, I will definitely take good care of Jianhua, Li Huai explained. Fan Jinyu naturally rushed, which was a good thing. Taking good care of Li Jianhua naturally established a relationship with the director, and the future is not yet secure. Mmm, Jinyu, take this cigarette to smoke. Li Huai was still very satisfied with his performance and took out a box of cigarettes from the drawer to throw to the other party. How sorry about this, he he, how sorry about this. Fan Jin politely said a few words before finally putting on the cigarette. This was recognition from the leader, and he would have to show off later. Sure enough, Fan Jin was not idle all the way, first in the office and then in personnel matters. He naturally helped Li Jianhua handle the procedures. When he met someone, he looked mysterious and quietly introduced Li Jianhua's identity. Then he took out a cigarette and flipped it over, saying it was a handful given to him. That's so proud. Anyway, there's no need for Li Jianhua to do anything. Even those who run around can take some time off. Since he's 14 years old in this life, he has to look like he's 14. Kangaroo New Book, Seeking Collection, Seeking Tickets. Thank you. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 Becoming a Street Wanderer You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Becoming a Street Wanderer Speaking of Fan Jinyu, he is compared to the second master in the courtyard. Both of them are official fans and have a strong desire to become officials. Just one is just a bragging worker, whose identity is always on the table and will never make it to the table, while the other has a cadre identity, but their narrow-mindedness also makes it difficult to make it to the table. When someone calls him Fan Cadre, he has a good face. He looks like I am a cadre, but when he calls him Xiao Fan, naturally Fan Jin Yu is a bit unhappy. It shouldn't be about dividing people. It's okay for someone with a high position to call him this way, but it's not acceptable for ordinary people to call him that way. Jianhua, all the procedures are complete. I'll take you to Zheng Yangmen to report. Your bicycle is a bit far away from there, how about I carry you on my back? Although Fan Jin has a good demeanor and is quite capable, his family conditions are not very good. He still has to rely on his legs to work, so naturally he doesn't have a bicycle. Then trouble brother Fan, Li Jianhua readily agreed. His body had not yet grown, and he was only a little over 1.5 meters tall. How could he bring Fan Jin Yu along? The two of them arrived at the Zhenyang gate in this way. Fan Jin Yu first helped Li Jianhua to report, after all, he was from the street. Although he was not as senior as Aunt Wang, he was still a seventh rank official in front of the Prime Minister's gate. He still had a cadre status, so he naturally had to show his style. Comrade Li Jianhua, from today on, you will be a formal member of our neighborhood committee. The salary for a clerk is 36 yuan per month, with bonuses included. After starting her job, Aunt Wang, as the highest leader here, naturally needs to talk to Li Jianhua. Since she's in class, even if Aunt Wang thinks that the other person is still a child, she can't treat Li Jianhua like a child. Therefore, during this formal conversation, she also became a comrade, which is the rule. I originally intended for you to work at the propaganda outlet of our neighborhood committee's director Lu, but now the street's cadre fan is helping us with the propaganda. Why don't you follow cadre fan first? After cadre fan's work is over, you can report at Lu Gansher's place. Aunt Wang is quite cunning. She doesn't think Fan Jin has a good plan. Anyway, she didn't expect Li Jianhua, 
a half-baked kid, to do anything. Now that someone is taking care of her, it saves her a lot of trouble. Upon hearing the other party's arrangement for Li Jianhua, Fan Jin couldn't help but glance up at Aunt Wan. It was very good, um, very good, and he was very satisfied with this decision as a cadre. Okay, then Jianhua will follow me first. During this time, I will go to the grassroots to promote the joint venture to various stores. Director Wang, you should take this opportunity to do a good job on the street and prepare for the next step. No matter what, Fan Jin Yu represents the neighborhood committee to help, so he naturally needs to be more high dot profile. Aunt Wang doesn't argue with him either. She's young and energetic. Whoever hasn't lived a young life yet will retire in a few years. Why bother offending someone for such a small matter? She just listens to what the other person says, but since Fan Jin doesn't come often. Fan Jin Yu is still too young, and this joint venture is not easy. Who would contribute a good store? None of those shop owners can figure it out, and having this person in front of her can save her some trouble. After singing loudly for a while, Fan Jin couldn't help but gasp and feel a bit thirsty. This old Wang is not at all sensible, he doesn't know how to pour him some water to drink. He just thought she was good, but now he immediately feels that he still needs to observe and observe. All right, it's getting late. I'll take Jianhua to the street to do publicity. People like you still need to learn, and they can't figure out how to do publicity even if it's a joint venture. Fan Jin was prepared to go around the shops on the street, and in his capacity, he wouldn't be able to receive them well. Yes, Cadre Fan, let's learn more, learn more, Aunt Wang said politely on the surface. But after the other party left, there was a hint of disdain in their eyes. There were many people on the street, but no one could take Zhou. Jianhua, I'll take you to C and C. There are a total of 813 shops on our street, which is also a top-ranked place in the capital. It happens to coincide with this year's joint venture, and this is a place where achievements have been made. The bicycle stopped at the neighborhood committee, and Fan Jin Yu led Li Jianhua while walking, introducing him to the surrounding shops. It has to be said that Fan Jin Yu really has two brushes and has done a lot of work. He has visited every store here and many people have greeted him along the way. Dong 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 dong, a sound of drums and gongs came, and it was the film master who was setting up a stall on the street. Ah cadre fan is here, this little brother is so I dot catching. Why don't you visit my area? I'll tell you a few more words, the film master was truly joking and quickly greeted Fan Jean when he saw him. Come on, you just say a few words every day. Let me introduce you. Although Fan Jean Yu doesn't like this film master, he is from the old capital and knows a lot. They work at the grassroots level and are not allowed to interact with anyone. Fan Jin Yu and Director Li have taken on tasks, so he will wholeheartedly teach Li Jianhua, so he has been mentioned a lot along the way. As for whether Li Jianhua can learn, it also depends on his talent. Let's take it slow. Hello Film Master. Li Jianhua smiled and greeted the Film Master, exchanging a few pleasantries. This film master looks seven or eight times similar to the three masters in their courtyard. He was just thinking about it. This is not a film or television drama, how can this person play the role? It's difficult to see if there are also clones. Now it seems that these are just two people. Officer Fan, look across the street. After saying a few words, Mr. Pien pointed his drumming hammer at the small tavern across from him. This is the famous Su Huijian Tavern, where a man struggled to carry the wine inside. This person was none other than Wanek Kai. Hmm. Is this tavern about to open? Fan Jin Yu naturally wouldn't notice Wanek. What he was looking at was this small tavern. If it opened, there would be another shop on the street, and most importantly, there would be Su Huijian in the tavern. That's called a beauty. Mmm, well, this beautiful person said directly. Okay. We'll have to come here to cheer that night. Knowing that the tavern was open, coupled with some rumors in the market, Fan Jin Yu couldn't afford to leave, 
so he naturally had to participate. Li Jianhua smiled disdainfully. He knew the purpose of this person. In his past life, he had watched both Zhang Yangmen and Sihiyuan. Of course, as a young person, he didn't have much patience. He still watched TV fast forward. Take a closer look at the plot you like and skip the ones you don't like. Fortunately, if you know the general plot and the specific content, you'll have to take a chance. Just like how many people read novels in later generations, there is still a lot of careful reading, many of which are just jumping around, leaving the author feeling helpless. However, Li Jianhua still knew the plot of the beginning of Xinyang Gate, and it didn't have much meaning until the 1980s, so he didn't watch it anymore. Brother Fan, how do I feel that this piece of land looks very similar to Yen Bugui in our courtyard, and the nest neck just now is also seven times similar to Hida Ching in our courtyard? Li Jianhua couldn't help but wonder as they walked on the road. Hi, can they not be like each other? They were originally brothers. Fan Jin Yu is indeed a jack of all trades, and he actually knows all the people mentioned by Li Jianhua, and everything is clear. Brother. Li Jianhua asked in surprise. Mmm. Let me tell you, Kangaroo New Book, Seeking Collection, Seeking Tickets. Thank you. End of this chapter. Chapter 5. First Meeting with Chin Shueru. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 5 First Meeting with Chin Shueru Mr. Pian's surname is Chiu, his name is Guangpu, and the third master's name is Yen Bugui. One surnamed Xiao and the other surnamed Yen, why did these two still become brothers? Originally, the grandmother of the Yen family was from the Chiu family. Because the Chiu family had no descendants, the Yen family was also in decline at that time. In order to survive, the grandmother of the Yen family adopted the second son of the family to the Chiu family, which resulted in the exchange of the three houses in the current courtyard house. Later, the grandmother disappeared, and the Chiu family was also afraid that the Yen family would repent, so the relationship between the two families was broken. Don't underestimate the film master, even though he's just a street wanderer, he has a courtyard house in his family, and his family background is relatively solid, much stronger than Yen Bugui's. As for Hida Ching, who lived in a courtyard with Kai Chuanwu, it's time to talk about the tradition of the He family. Whenever a man from the He family sees a widow, he can't move on. Kai Chuanwu is naturally the masterpiece of Hida Ching's father. After all, Hida Ching and Kai Chuanwu are not brothers. Well, a few years ago, Hida Ching also went to Baoding with the White Widow, leaving behind Silly Pillar and Rainwater. Those who knew the plot knew that Silly Pillar couldn't escape the fate of liking the widow later on. Um so, Kai Quan has no plan, and Su Hui, the widow of the family, can really make sense of it. They are all descendants of the He family, with a deep tradition in their bones. Jianhua, this is the Shueru silk store that I just told you about. Their fabric is the best on this street, and their master's craftsmanship is also good. This is where my clothes are made. Fan Jin Yu pointed to the store in front of him and said. He is a regular customer of this store. It's not that Fan Jin always buys materials and makes clothes when he has money or nothing to do. He always comes to the store to promote himself. Of course, he wants to get in touch with the beautiful and elegant owner, Chen Shueru. Nowadays, people's thinking is still very conservative, and there are not many women, especially beautiful women, who show up. Although there are over 800 shops on this street, there is only one female shopkeeper. In fact, Fan Jin has just had an eye for it. Chen Shueru has a husband, and although she dresses up beautifully every day, there have been no rumors about her. She can be beautiful or joke with you, but she definitely won't be of that kind to you. Brother Fan, let's go around the store. I just started working and I have to get dressed up. I can make a few clothes, said Li Jianhua. He can wear these big cotton pants and two cotton jackets on weekdays, but they are not suitable for work. There should be clothes in the warehouse, but they don't match this era. Li Jianhua wants to wear a Zhongshan suit as well. 
In addition, he also wants to meet this unparalleled beauty Chin Shueru. Although he hasn't grown up at the age of 14, Li Jianhua has the heart of an old man. It's enough to have a satisfying experience. Yo Cadre Fan is here. Come on, hurry into the inner room, I'll pour you tea. Chen Shueru is truly a business person. Although some people may not like Fan Jinyu on this street, those who come are guests. Moreover, no one knows the reason why it is difficult to deal with ghosts like the King of Hell. Therefore, as soon as Fan Jinyu and Li Jianhua come in, she warmly welcomes them. Big waves, red lips, and seductive eyes. This woman seems to have a natural charm, but she can't be too capable. She appears to be a useless man, and it is precisely because of this that her man Ho gave her a rolling painting and ran away. Now Lao Ho is probably only in the preparation stage, and it's unknown if he hasn't made up his mind. However, this has nothing to do with Li Jianhua. At his age, it's better to focus less on other things and take good care of him. When he grows up, we can talk about it. A woman of 18 has her body every day, but it's her own. Boss Chen, I'm here today to introduce you to the business. My little brother wants to make a few clothes, so don't underestimate him. He's our neighborhood committee clerk, Fan Jin nodded coldly and then introduced Li Jianhua to her. Ah, such a small cadre. Chen Shuaru looked at Li Jianhua, who was over 1.5 meters tall, and said in surprise. Li Jianhua couldn't help but roll his eyes. He has indeed suffered some setbacks now. He is 14 years old, with a bony body and a short stature. His face is still furry, so he really doesn't look very attractive. Chen Shueru, what are you talking about? Comrade Li Jianhua's father is a martyr, and it was his father who discovered and organized personnel to arrest the enemy agents in your backyard. Before Li Jianhua could speak, Fan Jinyu had to give up. Li Jianhua is young, but he is also a formal employee of the street, representing the street. They are considered a community of interests, and of course, Fan Jinyu has to maintain it. I apologize, I will offer tea to Cadre Li later. I will help pick out Cadre Li's fabric and personally make the clothes to ensure they fit comfortably. Upon hearing this, Chen Shueru quickly apologized. She couldn't afford to provoke people on the street, and she knew very well about the enemy agents in her store's backyard. It was good if she wasn't implicated because of this. Chen Shueru dared not provoke anyone. That's pretty good. Fan Jin nodded in satisfaction when he saw that the other party had a good attitude. He had to wait for a while to select the fabric and measure his body. After being asked by the salesperson to go to the back office for tea, Fan Jin had been running all morning and was indeed thirsty. Boss Chen, please don't be polite to me. I'm not a cadre, just an ordinary employee. You can call me Jianhua. Li Jianhua looked at Chen Shueru, who was helping him pick fabrics like a fawner, feeling a bit uncomfortable and quickly said. He was a businessman in his past life, knowing that buying and selling people is not easy. Any related kitten or puppy can come and chat with you, they are all pitiful people. Why bother making things difficult for her? Okay, then I'll call you Jianhua, and you can call me Shueru's sister. I'll choose a piece of fabric to make your clothes. Chen Shueru smiled and leaned down to Li Jianhua, saying that it's really difficult for her to treat a child of 14 as an adult. Chen Shueru spoke in the room, while Li Jianhua lifted his arm and casually agreed. His mind was still listening to Chen Shueru's words. Due to his height, his eyes were almost at the same level as those two headlights. It was strange that he could have thought. Pa, you're a little kid, what can you learn from Fan Jinyu? Uh, you can't talk to Fan Jinyu about this. All right, measure it. In just a moment, Chen Shueru looked at Li Jianhua as her younger brother. This little guy was quite interesting, talking like an adult. Even if he avoided it, he couldn't escape Chen Shueru's eyes. He he sister Shueru, I'm not stupid, how much does it cost in total? Li Jianhua awkwardly smiled. 
His fourteen-year-old body was also impulsive, okay. Besides, you're so close, you can't blame him. After all, Li Jianhua is not the original owner, nor is he a child psychologically. During the period from selecting fabrics to measuring his body, he naturally chatted with Qin Shuaru. After a while, their relationship became closer, otherwise Qin Shuaru wouldn't have been so natural. What kind of money is not money? I recognized your younger brother today, and it's a gift from my sister, Qin Shuaru said with a smile. Such a small clerk has a bright future, and a set of clothes perfectly fits into each other's relationship. Farewell to Sister Shuaru, after all, I work in the neighborhood committee and I can't take your clothes for free, Li Jianhua said quickly. He was very clear about the other party's plan, and besides, he didn't lack this money. He he, just like a little adult, listen to your sister. What's in a set of clothes? Otherwise, my sister won't pay attention to you in the future. After Chen Shuaru finished speaking, she took out two big white rabbit milk candies from her pocket and handed them to Li Jianhua, as if treating him like a child. Li Jianhua looked at the big white rabbit milk candy in his hand and smiled helplessly. As a young person, he has no right to speak. When he grows up, he must make you a little girl call him brother. Kangaroo New Book Seeking Collection, Seeking Tickets Thank you. End of this chapter Chapter 6 Tumbling Warehouse You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Tumbling Warehouse, Brother Fan, take me to the tavern tonight to have a long experience. I'll treat you to a drink then, Li Jianhua said with a smile. This Fan Jin Yu hesitated as he looked at Li Jianhua. He was planning to go to the tavern at night, but Li Jianhua's age was displayed there. There were all kinds of people from all walks of life in the tavern, and it was nothing to go to a tavern with only a child and a half. Brother Fan, now you're taking me with you. My work is naturally going smoothly, but if you go back to the street, I don't know anything about my street and nobody knows me. How can I carry out my future work? I heard that this tavern has everyone, could you please introduce me to them? With your name, it will be easier to carry out work in the future. Li Jianhua flattered Fan Jinyu and said. In just over half a day, Li Jianhua has figured out Fan Jin's temperament. This guy, like the second master in the courtyard, is not as bad as he is when you call him a bad person. He is not related to good people, and can only be said to be a villain. However, as long as you hold on to him and give him face, he is actually easy to get along with. Well, that's right. Let's meet at the tavern at 6 p.m. tonight. I'll treat you. Fan Jin felt that what the other party said made a lot of sense, so it's better to show him the world. Besides, Li Jianhua is Director Li's nephew and we must establish a good relationship. Xing Fan, then I'll go back first, Li Jianhua said happily when he agreed. Fan Jin Yu still has some principles. Originally, Chen Shueru wanted to invite them to lunch, but Fan Jin Yu refused. He took Li Jianhua to eat a bowl of noodles at noon, which was naturally invited by Fan Jin Yu. It was because of this that Li Jianhua said he wanted to invite him to a small tavern for a drink tonight. In the afternoon, Fan Jin went back to work on the street, and Li Jianhua naturally had nothing to do. He was the nephew of the leader, only fourteen years old, and the leader said he wanted you to take care of him more. You really act like an adult, and that's about it. Li Jianhua, who was riding his bike home, first opened the air door of the stove. In no time, the house became hot. The stove was connected to the Kong, and the Kong also brought warmth. The big Kong is a good thing. Li Jianhua's hometown used to use this one before. There are two sets of flue pipes in the con. Open the circulation channel, and the smoke and fire will naturally circulate throughout the big con. If it is too hot, turn it off directly. Then go straight through the flue and take a walk on the heated con. Does it sound like the function of current electric blankets? In fact, our ancestors have already studied this thing thoroughly. Some people may think that a large con has something to show off. In fact, in this era, 
sleeping on a large Kong in the city really needs to be showcased. In northern rural areas, especially in the northeast, large Kong is very common. Why is it that when someone's home is large, a large Kong can sleep a row of people? Sleeping in a row of people may seem very suitable, but when it comes to the city, it becomes impractical. It's not bad because each family has limited space. Like their courtyard house, which houses around 10 or 20 households, many of them only have one pitiful room. If you build a large Kong, it will occupy more than half of the room. The room is just such a big place, how can the whole family open it upside down? How do they sleep then? Let's set up the board at night, it's still the kind of upper and lower board that works. Squeeze it, it's still warm. After doing all of this, Li Jianhua went outside to fetch a teapot of water. The faucet was shared, and anyone who used it would go to the yard outside to fetch it. As for the water bill, there was no such thing as it. Most residents here work at the steel rolling mill and use the water from the unit's water tower, which is the benefit of having a unit. Li Jianhua remembers that he roast about the faucet when he watched the movie and TV play before crossing. You said that the public faucet was not frozen on such a cold day in Beijing in winter. After coming to this era, he only realized how ridiculous his former self was after accepting the memories of the original owner. He had heard the word work three shifts before. What does it mean? It means that people stop and machines don't stop. In order to complete production tasks, machines rotate continuously. That is to say, many people only leave work in the middle of the night or early in the morning. This faucet will naturally not freeze if used frequently. Jianhua, come back. How about going to work? By the way, I have prepared your mantu and steamed buns, and they are still hot. Three ants saw Li Jianhua, who was fetching water, and asked quickly. Which neighborhood committee Li Jianhua went to is related to the authority of their old man Yan Bugue in the courtyard, so the three aunties naturally became anxious. Sandama, could you please help me? I'll go get the kettle as soon as I put it in. I've been assigned to Zheng Yangman. I just started work today, and Director Wang has arranged for me to familiarize myself with the work. Li Jianhua smiled and greeted the other person. Upon hearing that Li Jianhua had gone to Zhenyang Gate, the three aunties breathed a sigh of relief. It wasn't just a neighborhood committee, which meant that there had to be three masters in charge of this courtyard. This is also normal. Who would be willing to let a 14-year-old boy guide you around? Not bad. It's just time to put it on the shop later. The three ants were very enthusiastic. They just sent the prepared mantu and steamed buns, but they were still steaming hot. Ten mantu steamed buns each. When the three ants left, Li Jianhua received the space directly. Insert the door into the room, and Li Jianhua plans to take this opportunity to study his golden finger carefully, mainly to see what good things are inside. The first one to enter is his medium-sized warehouse. He has been developing in the Shenzhen market for so many years, selling seafood and dry goods. However, with the current business downturn, transportation of live animals is a big problem. Therefore, this time his products are all dry goods, mainly dried shrimp. Afterwards, he started to wander around in the warehouse area, is this. The warehouse of Cat Supermarket, oh my god, there are so many tables and various food items, they have been sent out. What is this? Clothes, shoes, and hanfu. It seems to be of little use. This is good, this is good, a warehouse for nostalgic items. I don't know how this thing started. Many people like supply and marketing cooperatives to reminisce about nostalgia, and things are packaged according to their previous packaging. Look, there are also old bicycles and watches. Seeing the old watch, Li Jianhua directly brought an old Shanghai watch. Although it is old, it does not affect its use. He is a second dot generation and it is not normal to have a watch. Haha <laughs> I posted it. Li Jianhua exclaimed excitedly as he opened the largest warehouse in the middle. What a whole warehouse of grain. 
White flour, rice, corn flour, and various edible oils are piled up like mountains. Just thinking about it, it's already National Day, and people never know when they will close their homes. Everything else can be saved. How can we save on white flour and rice? If there is a need, the buying and selling will naturally become popular, and merchants must prepare more. Now it's May 5th, and there will be many things to go through in the future. It's not until the 1980s that people's lives will truly improve. These things are the foundation for Li Jianhua's future survival. Can you say he's not excited? Hey, air air, now I'm 14. When I go there, I'll be 81 already. I don't even know if I can endure that. Even if it's in my 80s, I'll be 40 and enjoy it. Li Jianhua couldn't help but curse, thinking of the various benefits of future generations. Poor child, even if he has such good golden fingers, he will have to sneak around for 20 or 30 years to truly enjoy himself. Can you not complain? Forget it, it's no use thinking so much. Let's take a closer look, at least we won't have to worry about food and drink in the future. After cursing for a while, Li Jianhua calmed down. He first went to the nostalgic warehouse to find an outfit. The winter in Beijing is so cold, he got a cotton coat, then a hat, and a scarf that must be whole, whole two, three. There is one gift for Fan Jin. He is now his master and still needs to use him. Another option is to choose a lady's outfit and pair it with epithelial gloves, which also needs to be raised and grayed. Bring this to Chen Shueru, who has made clothes for him. He can't take it for free. Kangaroo New Book, Seeking Collection, Seeking Tickets. Thank you. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 The Small Tavern Has Opened, Seeking Collection and Tickets. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 7 The Small Tavern Has Opened, Seeking Collection and Tickets, I Got Two Boxes of Self-Heating Rice, beef stewed with potatoes and twice cooked pork. Finally, I used boiled water to make a soup of dried vegetables and eggs. The half-aged boy ate me to death. He was at the age of carrying rice. Anyway, he didn't lack this thing. After dinner, add two more oranges to supplement some vitamins, eat and drink until you're full, and directly take the box to the warehouse. The place is so arbitrary, saving people the trouble of finding it hard to explain. I raised my hand to take a look, hmm. It's past five o'clock, and there are hardly any entertainment activities at this moment. Li Jianhua can't bear it. He's also idle. Go to the tavern early and take a seat first. Sandi Yi is back. Li Jianhua casually greeted the returning Sandi Yi as he walked out. Jianhua Hei. I haven't finished speaking yet, and I don't know why this child is in such a hurry. The third master even sniffed, as if he could smell a hint of meat. It has to be said that these three masters have really sharp noses. Li Jianhua even ate two oranges after finishing his meal and even rinsed his mouth, which can still smell the smell of meat. Brother Fan, Brother Fan, on the way, Li Jianhua bumped into Fan Jinyu, who was also preparing to go to a small tavern when they happened to be together. I'll take you with me. Fan Jinyu looked at Li Jianhua's coat and didn't say anything. His father used to be on the team, but later became a big brimmed hat. It's normal to have this kind of coat. You definitely have to come, I can't take you with me. By the way, Brother Fan, here's this scarf for you, and you'll have to bring me more in the future. Li Jianhua took out a beige woolen scarf from his canvas bag and handed it to Fan Jinyu. This is not possible, I cannot take it, Fan Jinyu quickly refused. Take brother Fan, this was sent by my father's comrade in arms. I have one more item here. If brother Fan doesn't accept it, you won't treat me as your younger brother. Li Jianhua couldn't see Fan Jin's love for the scarf and handed it directly to the other party. All right, okay. Then my brother will accept it. Fan Jin declined and finally accepted it. That's right. Fan Gu will wear gloves for you, I'll sit in the back. 
Li Jianhua took off his sheepskin gloves and handed them to Fan Jinyu, who then sat on the back of his bicycle. Okay, sit still. Fan Jin didn't refuse either. He walked without gloves, then wrapped his scarf around it and said a word before taking Li Jianhua to the small tavern. Cadre Fan is here, as soon as Fan Jin entered, everyone greeted him. The small tavern was newly opened, with a stove lit inside and many shops. Naturally, idle people from all walks of life came to support him. Ba Su, two tails, a plate of peanuts and a plate of sausage, Fan Jinyu came to the counter and looked at Su Huijian hotly. Although it's a small tavern, things are not cheap either. Most of the people who came today are old customers, so they naturally came to drink and chat, and there are also many people who came to Su Huijian. They all heard that He Yongqiang ran away with Su Huijian's sister. When this He family old man went, he left all his family business to Su Huijian. There were three storefronts in front and a courtyard house behind. How much property does it cost? This He family has been operating on this street for many years, and people are calculating that each other's family is wealthy. Moreover, Su Huijian is a well-known beauty, on the same level as Qin Shueru, and there is only one daughter in the family. This orphan and widowed mother, if anyone marries her, they will not only be able to hold the beauty back, but also obtain such a large family fortune. How many years of hard work would be required? Fan, Cadre. Thank you for coming to support us. This little brother is. Su Huijian was busy just now when she saw a guest quickly greeting her. Coincidentally, everyone is here for me to introduce him to you. His name is Li Jianhua and he is from our neighborhood committee. Fan Jinyu took this opportunity to introduce Li Jianhua to people, and I believe that in a few days, everyone will be able to get to know him. Everyone looked at Li Jianhua and felt a little surprised. This half-big kid is actually a street cadre, what a big background. Points to pay attention to in the future. Cadre Fan, here are your wine and vegetables. These two liang are gifts. Today, the small shop reopens, and each person will give one or two liang as gifts. Su Huijian explained to Fan Jinyu, leaving two cents to see Fan Jinyu puzzled. As for Li Jianhua, a half-year-old kid who hasn't even grown hair yet, she just needs to know the other person's identity. So, do you still want them to fall in love with you at first sight and just send all their property? The key is, they are willing. Is Li Jianhua okay? Sure, it will work. At 14, I already have the necessary functions, but my body hasn't grown yet. I can't indulge it anymore. What are they all about? The person Su Hui mentioned seems to have pasted it upside down. Li Jianhua has now found a place to sit down with Fan Jinyu. This table was specially chosen by Fan Jinyu, and next to it is Teacher Su, who has just lost his spouse and has both an old mother and a son at home. Isn't that Teacher Su? If I don't go back to take care of my mother and children so late, why did I come to the tavern? Fan Jin said with a strange tone. He is very familiar with the people in the small tavern, and at a glance, he can feel the threat from Su Hushim. This person is a level 4 teacher with a monthly salary of just 30, similar to Yen Bugui. He is very stingy. Today, he came to a small tavern to drink, which shows that he has ulterior motives. How can we serve as exemplary officials? Mr. Su and I are from our own family, so if you can come, I won't be able to praise you. Su Hesheng is a teacher and he values his image very much. If Li Jianhua hadn't watched any movies or TV dramas, he would have been intimidated by his positive image. But now, Teacher Su and Fan Jin are just like each other, and they are all worried about it. Alright, today the small tavern is reopening. It must be strange for everyone. Why did I, as a woman, open a tavern? To be honest, I'm just a reasonable person. At this point, Su Huijian began her opening promotion, which can be considered as telling everyone about the rules of this small tavern. As a result, everyone naturally turned to Mr. Su. 
I love to take things seriously, not to deceive, not to deceive, and not to deceive. From now on, this wine will never be mixed with water. Su Huijian's words immediately drew applause and cheers. Don't look at me as a woman from all walks of life. From today on, if anyone drinks while they're drunk, don't blame me, Su Hui, for being so rude. This is a warning, meaning that no matter who drinks, they must never go crazy in her small shop. Dare, slap him. Su Huijian said these words, and Niu Yi and other loyal customers immediately expressed their support. They were all old neighbors, orphans and widows, and everyone was trying to save face for Mr. He. It opened today, everyone is looking here. Our store doesn't have any credit. Su Huijian came to the sign hanging in the store and said. Hey, this is coming at me, this is. Niu Yi reached out his finger and pointed to the sign, mocking himself. Niu Yi, a person from the Eight Banners, has a good family background and is accustomed to using a bird cage to hang around every day. He used to be on credit, but this person has good face and never owes money. He can repay it during the Chinese New Year and holidays. In fact, everyone knows that this must be selling items left by his ancestors, otherwise where would the money come from? Except for you, Mr. Nyo, because you never lack money. My dad said you never pay back, and that's what you want. Su Hui really gave Mr. Nyo face, and as soon as he said this, Mr. Nyo immediately started to argue. Hey, everyone, listen to me. This is what I've been doing for half of my life, said Mr. Nyo with a thumbs up and a chest up. Okay, the people in the tavern also gave face and immediately called out, good. Li Jianhua also followed suit, but his gaze turned to the trigger on Nyo Ye's thumb. There are many good things about Nyo Yi. Kangaroo new book, seeking collection, seeking tickets. Thank you. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 Midnight Pai Li Pa, Seeking Collection, Seeking Tickets You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Midnight Pai Li Pa, Seeking Collection, Seeking Tickets, Hey! Shopkeeper, I heard something happen to Yongqiang. Everyone was having some fun when the film master finished speaking, and many people immediately began to listen with their ears raised. Li Jianhua looked at Fan Jinyu on the left and then at Teacher Su on the right, disdainfully smiling. Both of them had impure thoughts. By the way, there are still two people under the wall. One is Wanek Kai Chuanwu. He doesn't say anything, but deep down, he has already thought about it. He just feels that he doesn't deserve them. He can't be like Hida Ching and Silly Zhu, who love widows from the bottom of their bones. As for the strong guy who pulled the cart, it was purely a toad wanting to eat swan meat. To put it bluntly, he didn't pee to show his own virtue, and there was also this idea. I was hit by a car and killed. Su Huijian's professional smile on her face immediately disappeared, and she lowered her head and said with a busy expression. In fact, everyone present has heard some rumors before, but I just want to confirm how Su Huijian and her husband are, and whether there is any room for relaxation. Listening to her say so is naturally pointless. No, there should be a play now, with great potential. Fan Jinyu and Teacher Su were silently pondering in their hearts. Hui Jian, Hui Jian, let's see who I brought to you. At this moment, Chen Shueru walked in confidently. As both women, they were originally best friends, but now they are shopkeepers on the same street, so they naturally have to take care of each other. So today, Chen Shueru called over brother Waigua, Falakamir, and his fiancée A. E. Elena to help Su Huijian with the situation. Sure enough, with the arrival of these two crooked fruit kernels, the scene immediately became lively, and this small tavern immediately became towering. Huijian, how's it going? Give them noodles. Give them some beer, I'm still the same. Chen Shueru went to the counter and raised her eyebrows, saying to Su Huijian. Please take good care of me when I first arrive. Su Huijian is really a material for doing business and greeted Weigoran generously. Go, let's go. 
Chen Shueru's aura was not small. She took the wine and walked around to Li Jianhua's table, driving away the two guys who only drank and didn't eat. From now on, we need to establish a rule. This one who drinks and doesn't eat vegetables is just as conscious as Wen Neck, squatting at the wall. Chen Shueru said arrogantly. She's not trying to show off her authority. There must be some people who don't like those who drink while taking advantage of the stove, but now it's more about speaking up for Su Huijin. You said that everyone is a guest, and there are only so many seats. People who drink and eat don't have seats. Can you, who drinks poor wine, occupy a seat? Besides, people are divided into three, six, or nine classes. People who drink and eat naturally don't like you, who only drink and eat. Huh, sitting at the same table with you would be a loss of share. Sure enough, as soon as Chen Shueru said these words, several people stepped aside. The Niu Yi and others who ordered the dishes were naturally willing, all because the old men wanted face. They were embarrassed to say it just now, but now that Chen Shueru said it, it was only natural that this matter was settled. You child, you're so young to drink. Chen Shueru glanced at Fan Jinyu and whispered in Li Jianhua's ear. Li Jianhua was shocked, and suddenly a faint fragrance came. This woman was indeed a fairy, and every move carried temptation. Brother Fan brought me here to recognize more people, and I will continue to work on the street in the future, Li Jianhua whispered. Upon hearing this, Chen Shueru felt it was reasonable. If she wanted to do a good job in the neighborhood committee, she wouldn't be allowed to interact with anyone. Their street mainly consists of various businesses, so it would be nice to come to this small tavern and listen and take a look. At this moment, the people in the tavern were all discussing the joint venture, and no one noticed their small actions. Li Jianhua is also willing for people to treat him as a passerby, saving trouble. Fan Jinyu is different. The promotion of this joint venture is his job, and he naturally speaks very well. He even ruthlessly pinched the half-understood Mr. Nyo, so let's not mention his arrogance. However, Fan Jin didn't see it. In the eyes of the people in the small tavern, there was disgust towards him. Nyo Yi still had a lot of face on the street because Fan Jin had already bowed to his identity on the street. It's a bit disrespectful of them to say that he should be held in his shoes. Fortunately, the film master exposed this matter by wiping out the phone calls, otherwise this scene would have been awkward. Around 8 o'clock, everyone drank and chatted, and one after another, some people left. It's winter now, it's already dark, and people are sleeping early. It's almost time to withdraw at this point. Mr. Su, if you give me one or two drinks today, I'll give you a firecracker. When Li Jianhua left, he didn't notice that he walked to Su Huijin's counter and took out a firecracker with a smile. As for Fan Jinyu, he didn't even care about Li Jianhua and was still staring at Teacher Su, unconsciously causing the two of them to fall in love. Firecrackers. Su Huijin made a puzzled expression, not knowing what Li Jianhua meant. The reopening of her tavern didn't sound like a cannon but it's already past 8 o'clock at night, so it's not appropriate to sound a cannon. You keep it. Maybe you can use it. This firecracker is not only used for festive occasions, but also to prevent villains. Li Jianhua smiled and left, feeling quite carefree as he walked, lifting his hand on his back and swinging it. But he also ignored his current image, a little kid over 1.5 meters tall, thin like ribs, and cool enough to pretend to be a fart. Prevent petty people. Su Hui muttered to herself, this child is really like what Chin Shueru said. It's quite interesting, like a little adult. After all the guests had left, Su Huijin quickly locked the door. She was still thinking about the children in the backyard house. Just now, she asked Chin Shueru to take her place for a while and went back to see them twice. It's not easy for an orphan or a widowed mother. But for some unknown reason, when Su Huijian returned, she remembered Li Jianhua's words and inexplicably brought the firecracker to her bedroom. My Li air is really good, knowing that my mother is doing business, 
so obedient, Su Huijian fed the child and read the three-character classic while holding the child. The child fell asleep obediently again. The second son of the Qing family, who doesn't look very good, likes to knock on the widow's door in the middle of the night. This guy is also at the tavern today, and he came here for the free one or two drinks. When he heard Su Huijian say his husband was killed in a collision, he was moved and thought to sneak a peek at what Su Huijian was doing. If there was a chance, wouldn't he have posted it? So this guy sneakily jumped into Su Huijian's yard in the middle of the night. Su Huijian wasn't sleeping at the moment, he had to take care of both the business and the children alone. How could he have so much time? He was still cleaning the children's diapers at this point. Dong, upon hearing the sound, Su Huijian immediately became indecisive. Having a man and not having a man at home were two different things. Even if his father dot in dot law was about to lose his temper, no one dared to jump on the wall of their house. But now that there was no man at home, someone was striking her so quickly. Su Hui truly deserved to be a strong woman. She took a deep breath to calm herself down and went to the window to listen outside. Coincidentally, the second son of the Qing family stepped on the water tank outside the window and was about to look inside. Su Huijian took out a match, took out the string of firecrackers that Li Jianhua gave her from the drawer, lit it, and threw it directly outside. Suddenly, there was a sound of crackling. The second son of the Qing family, feeling guilty, fell off the cylinder and hit his knee, limping open the door and ran away. In his current situation, he must not be able to jump over the wall, and of course, there is no need. People have noticed him and even jumped over the wall, opening the courtyard door and running away. Su Huijian comforted the crying child and casually took out a pair of scissors to take a look. You really can guard against petty people. Su Huijian murmured, reinserted the door, and went back to the house to coax the child. Kangaroo new book, seeking collection, seeking tickets. Thank you. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 Little Ghost, Seeking Collection, Seeking Tickets You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Chapter 9 Little Ghost, Seeking Collection, Seeking Tickets After Li Jianhua got up, he stretched lazily on the Kong. It was not bad to return to this era. Without the invisible pressure of life in later generations, without comparison, there would be no harm. With the confidence given by his golden fingers, he felt unprecedentedly relaxed. Oh, it's really cold. Li Jianhua felt the cold on his nose and arms, quickly retracting his hands and pulling all the small clothes he had prepared from the warehouse yesterday into the blanket. After warming up, he put them directly on the blanket before getting down to work on the stove. Let's eat today. Let's go out to eat. Li Jianhua looked at the food and got up early. It was only six o'clock. Although he had everything in his warehouse, he decided to eat out when he thought of the delicious bean curd jelly served with sauce deep dot fried dough stick sticks. Living in the front yard may be inconvenient for people to come and go, but it also has significant benefits. It is located right next to the main entrance, making it convenient for people to enter and exit, and saving time dealing with people in the middle and backyards. He is not as skilled in calculation as Yen Bugue. He likes to stay at the door and see who has bought this and that. Hey! How could Yen Bugue have the feeling of quietly peeking at the screen like in later generations? Lao Yen, what are you looking at? Sandama followed Yen Bugue's gaze and looked outside, asking. It's nothing. The kid from the Li family across the street has gone out. This kid is quite diligent, Yen Bugue sighed as he looked at his eldest son, Yen Jichen, who was about the same age as Li Jianhua. If someone can take over his father's class, whose class should I take over? Yen Jichen muttered. What are you saying? What? You're hoping your father and I'll die soon. Yen Bugue almost got angry and rolled up his sleeves, ready to teach this unfilial son a lesson. Running and chasing after each other, the Yen family immediately became a mess. Li Jianhua arrived at the Zhengyang gate, found a stall, greeted the boss, and sat down. 
Yesterday noon, he had eaten with Fan Jin Yu here, and the boss naturally knew his identity. He quickly and warmly delivered breakfast. Don't be fooled by his young age and status, the boss naturally doesn't dare to underestimate him. Oh, Cadre Shaoli, it's so early. The effect of Li Jianhua's visit to the tavern yesterday has already come out, and the film master greeted him with a smile. The film master is here, let's go together, Li Jianhua also said hello to the film master. After all, it is a commercial street, and there are quite a few people eating breakfast here. There are no other tables available, so he naturally invited the film master to sit next to him. All right, thank you. Old Li, it's still the same. The film master's original intention was to share a table, but he sat down as Li Jianhua said. Mr. Film, where are you putting your stall today? I'll take a look later. Li Jianhua was still curious about Mr. Film's primitive photo style projector, so he didn't have much to take a look at. That's a great relationship. In a moment, I'll go across from the tavern and set up the stall, and then I'll tell Cadre Shaoli this for free, said the film master with a smile. The location of the small tavern is good, and the business hours are usually after 2 p.m. Mr. Pien will set up a stall there in the morning, which will not affect the business of the small tavern. It is not possible outside other shops, and the owner is unwilling to do so. He often rushes to these mobile stalls. Okay. Then I'll treat you to breakfast, Mr. Pien. Li Jianhua didn't refuse, but instead asked the stall owner to settle his own and Mr. Pien's accounts. Although we have started using receipts now, the management is not particularly strict. Booths like them have their own purchasing channels, and as long as they pay more money, they don't need food receipts. However, this situation will not last long. Large grain supply places such as grain shops have strict requirements, and no one is allowed to sell grain without tickets. The era of tickets has still arrived. How can I be so embarrassed? The film master politely said for a while, and when he saw Li Jianhua giving the money, his eyes narrowed. In the new era, the business of his old films is getting worse and worse. Those who have money go straight to the cinema to watch them. Only children are willing to spend a few cents to watch something new, and sometimes the money earned in the morning is not enough for his alcohol. As I have said before, the film master inherited a courtyard house, but he was unlucky. On the eve of the liberation, he didn't keep an eye on the door and was robbed once, leaving many of his family's assets gone. Nowadays, the business of this old movie is becoming increasingly difficult to do, and he can't bear the hardships. He also likes to drink a little wine and so on, living a tight life. It has to be said that this master is really from the old capital city. He has been wandering the streets and knows everything. In just a short while, Li Jianhua learned a lot about the situation on the streets. Today, there is something going on on in Fan Jin Street. Even if Li Jianhua is on vacation, the class is really quiet. However, Li Jianhua can't stay idle either. He doesn't want to stay in the courtyard, so it's not bad to come and take a stroll on the street. When Li Jianhua arrived at the entrance of the small tavern, he saw Kai Chuanwu squatting at the door eating steamed buns. His silly appearance was quite confusing, he he if you didn't know the plot, who would have thought that Su Huijian, such a flower, would eventually be picked by a Wanek. Hey! Li Kadre, why are you so early? At this moment, Su Huijian happened to open the door and was about to sweep the snow outside the store. He saw Li Jianhua giggling at the door and quickly said hello. Mr. Su, just call me Jianhua. I'm waiting for the film master to set up a stall, ready to see something new, Li Jianhua said with a smile. Um, then you can sit in the house first. It's really cold outside. Su Hui was taken aback for a moment, and it's normal to think about it. Li Jianhua, a half-year-old boy, naturally became interested in those little things. Okay, then I'll trouble Mr. Su. I'll wait inside. Hey. Master Kai, you're eating. Li Jianhua responded and greeted Kai Chuanwu squatting under the wall before entering. 
Poor Wanek Kai had nothing left, his two small eyes dodging and staring at Su Huijian for a while. He didn't even see him, so let's not mention his frustration. Hello Cadre Li. Kai Chuan Wu quickly shouted a greeting, just to catch Su Hui's attention. This person has nothing to say and can't make a fart with three sticks. He looks honest and actually has a lot of ideas in his heart. Kai Chuanwu is still very grateful to Li Jianhua, especially for the nickname Master Kai. He is a hard-working person, and most people don't look up to him. The word master definitely means he is highly regarded. So early, I don't know the business hours. Su Hui stood up and was really startled. From the title, it was clear that Su Hui still didn't like this person. I'm not here to drink, I'm just checking if you have any work to do. I can borrow a flatbed truck now. If you want to purchase it, just speak up, Kai Chuan Wu said quickly. Li Jianhua stood next to Su Huijian, smiling and looking at Kai Chuan Wu. This guy looks honest, but he's not honest in his heart. How much work can a small tavern have, why do you need to guard it like this? However, Li Jianhua didn't say much, which is also a skill that Kai Quan lacks. A widow, Li Jianhua is not so unremarkable. Besides, he is now growing up and will have more happiness in the future, so there is no need. Another thing is that Su Huijian is too dominant, otherwise she wouldn't have forced her husband He Yongqiang away. She would rather give up everything than live with her. Kai Chuanwu was a little worried when Li Jianhua saw him. Fortunately, Su Huijian was thinking with his head down, or his hidden thoughts would be revealed. Go in and help me tidy up the tavern, Su Huijian said. She has also seriously considered it. Yesterday's incident shows that there is no man in the family, and Kai is honest and capable. In addition, he is just a coward, and asking him to help others won't talk nonsense. You don't think a boss like her would have a crush on her? Don't just listen, even the messenger doesn't believe it. I'll obey your orders. Kai Chuanwu finished speaking and glanced at Li Jianhua. He hurriedly entered the room, muttering to himself how much thought Li Jianhua could have as a child. Moreover, he just wanted to help Su Hui out of pity, with no other thoughts. Li Jianhua, you can call me Hui Jian's sister in the future. I'll ask you why you gave me that firecracker yesterday. Su Hui Jian finally couldn't help but look around and whispered. He he, how are you, Sister Hui Jian? Is my firecrackers effective? Have you been able to guard against villains? Li Jianhua asked with a squinted smile. Kangaroo new book, seeking collection, seeking tickets. Thank you. End of this chapter. Chapter 10 Introduction, Seeking Collections, Seeking Tickets You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Introduction, Seeking Collections, Seeking Tickets, You Child, You Saw It Yesterday why didn't you tell me? Su Huijian rolled her eyes and looked at Li Jianhua, who was teasing her daughter Lier, saying. You're right, Li Jianhua is currently in Su Huijian's boudoir. Even if he goes to the inner house at his age, there won't be any rumors about him. How to say it, Huijian's sister? You have to get dirty to take the thief. I don't have any evidence, I just saw the second in the Qing family's eyes sneaking at you, and he likes to knock her in the middle of the night and doesn't do anything good, so I brought you firecrackers to be on the safe side. Li Jianhua said with a helpless expression. You little devil, you know everything when you're young, Su Hui blushed and said. In fact, Su Huijian is not very old. She is only twenty years old this year, six years older than Li Jianhua. Although she has given birth to a child, her daughter Dot in Dot Law has not yet become an auntie, so she naturally can't let go of her words. Hui Jian, I estimate that Mr. Cheng will come to your tavern again tonight. Li Jianhua doesn't want to continue the previous topic, as he always makes people treat him like a child who can handle it. Oh! How dare he come? Su Hui asked in surprise. Hui Jian, don't underestimate Cheng Lao's lecherous behavior. He came to test yesterday, 
and today he will definitely want to see what your reaction is. If there is a play, there will be no play. Otherwise, it won't be in vain. Li Jianhua analyzed for her. You said you're fat and you're panting. Su Hui was teased by a half-grown boy and said somewhat angrily. I'm not talking nonsense. If you don't believe me, let's make a bet. If Cheng Lao comes, how about treating me to a drink tonight? When the time comes, I'll start by deceiving him out of what happened yesterday, and let Fan Jin and his team help warn him. I guarantee that no one will dare to jump over Hui Jian's wall in the future, Li Jianhua said with a smile like a little fox. Hung Jianhua, could you tell me more specifically? Su Huijian immediately faced up to his words. She didn't sleep well last night, afraid that there might be another jumping off the wall. If she could get the help of the streets Fan Jinyu and Niu Yi, it would naturally prevent many villains. Sister, you just say that and then keep doing that, by the way, sister, you have to add a plate of garlic sausages to this matter. The last sentence was a bit out of place. Of course, Li Jianhua is not someone who is greedy for a plate of garlic sausages, he just wants to establish a relationship with Su Huijian. You should know that Su Huijian is the protagonist in movies and TV dramas, with a strong aura of the protagonist. Even without his reminder, they still manage to solve Qing Lao and establish a relationship with her. In the future, Li Jianhua's work on the street will still be a win-dot-win -win situation. What's a plate of garlic sausages? Just rely on the firecrackers you had yesterday, and today at noon, my sister has to cook something delicious for you, Su Huijian said with a smile, feeling at ease. Li Jianhua wants to get closer to her, but Su Huijian doesn't want to get closer to her. As a half-year-old boy of fourteen and a formal worker in the neighborhood committee, given her age, even if she gets closer to Li Jianhua, there won't be any rumors about her as a widow. Having the other person's identity is not just a joke. If we talk about it tomorrow, these people on the street won't be able to get along with her, and they will unconsciously support her. So, after a while, Huiru became her sister directly, and her relationship immediately became closer. At six o'clock in the evening, the small tavern gradually filled with people. Yesterday, it reopened, and Su Huijian gave away one or two drinks, which naturally attracted more people. There were all kinds of people from all walks of life. If we didn't give them away today, the number of people who came was much less. However, this was also about 70.8% full. Mr. Nyo is a regular visitor. As long as there are no major events, he comes every day. Li Jianhua can't stay idle. If there is a lively scene today, he will naturally come too. Not to mention Fan Jinyu and Mr. Su, both of them have ulterior motives towards Su Huijian. The four of them happened to have a table together, which was the table in front of Su Huijian's counter. Each of them had their own purpose. Li Jianhua had it for the convenience of watching the play, while Fan Jin had Mr. Su to see Su Huijian. Naturally, Mr. Nyo liked this openness. Just as a few people were chatting over a small drink, the second son of the Qing family came in. Li Jianhua raised an eyebrow at Su Huijian, meaning, see. The second son of the Qing family is determined by your reaction. Su Huijian rolled her little eyes and thought to herself that this little guy had guessed right. What a big deal. One cent, one or two, one or two. Cheng Lao's eyes dodged as he glanced at Su Huijian taking out a cent from his pocket. The price of wine in the small tavern is not expensive, and there are generally two types sold, one is one yuan per kilogram, which is the type of one cent or two mentioned by Cheng Lao. There is also a type of wine that costs 71 cents per kilogram, which is calculated to be 70% or one half of the total. Pian Yi usually drinks this type of wine and adds two liang of small wine and one cent of peanuts. In total, 24 cents can be spent chatting with people for one night. Su Huijian took a small wine glass and gave him a drink. Only two liang or more are qualified to use a small wine pot, and one or two liang is just this small glass. Besides, the other party didn't order any food. 
Cheng Laoer took the wine over and looked at the other person's reaction. Yesterday, he was discovered by them that it must have been terrifying to have a loud and explosive sound. Apart from his unwavering cunning, he is also afraid that the other party will recognize him. Jumping into the widow's wall is not just for fun. If someone really pursues him, he will face legal consequences. Mr. Nyo, look. Li Jianhua touched Mr. Nyo next to him and pointed at Ching Laoer as he left with wine. He is a military strategist, just use his brain, and naturally he will have to find someone else to stand out. Hey! What's wrong with your leg, the second son of the Qing family? Niu Yi is from the old capital and is known for his ability to fight against injustice. Last night, I had a stomachache and hurriedly went to the thatched cottage. I stepped on the manhole cover and knocked it over, Cheng Lao Er explained with an excuse. As soon as this reason came out, Li Jianhua raised an eyebrow at Su Huijian with a smile. This foresight was good, but unfortunately, in his past life, he watched it fast forward, so he was even more familiar with the previous plot. The rest was ruined, and he didn't even watch it. But it's already the 1980s, and there are only a few episodes of movies and TV dramas. But with him, it's already 20.30 years from now. No, when he has time, he'll have to find a notebook to write it down, otherwise he won't be able to remember it for such a long time. I'm afraid it fell off the room. Su Hui didn't have time to talk to Li Jianhua and said, glancing at Ching Laoer with a sideways glance. As soon as Su Huijian spoke these words, everyone in the small tavern immediately became divided. There was a lot of trouble in front of the widow's door, and there was an inside story behind this. Big guy, look at me, look at him. Su Hui didn't do anything wrong and pointed directly at Chen Er, saying, Hey! What's going on? Niu Yi glanced at Chen Laoer and asked in a tone that was not friendly. He and Mr. He have known each other for a long time, so he will naturally protect Su Huijian, this orphan and widowed mother. Su Huijian, don't talk nonsense. I heard you mean I climbed into the human room. Chen Laoer said with a guilty heart. When will you compensate me for those jars under our window? Su Hui said calmly. I knocked on my leg, but I haven't knocked yet, now it's broken, and this guy just slipped his tongue. Everyone realized that Chen Er has been knocking on the widow's door again. Fan Gu, beat him up. He must have a ghost. If not, give him the big brimmed hat. I have acquaintances there. Li Jianhua quickly touched Fan Jinyu with a look of righteous indignation. His words naturally gave Fan Jinyu more confidence. You should know that the father of the original owner was either the big brimmed hat or the captain, and there were naturally people there. Ching Lao, if you don't say anything, I'll send you to see the big brimmed hat. Fan Jin immediately became interested and grabbed Ching Lao, pressing him onto the table. I just want to see if Su Hui is really asleep. Ching Lao Er immediately hesitated when he heard that he was going to see him with a big brimmed hat and said weakly. Beat him, beat him, everyone immediately became angry upon hearing this. Everyone came to see the widow, but everyone wanted face and could only come under the guise of drinking. You just jumped over the wall to see, it's really too much. Your shameless eye. Fan Jin became angry and didn't even see it, so he gave Cheng Lao Er a big horse to lie on. All right, all right, he didn't see anything. I quickly knocked him down from the room, Su Huijian said according to Li Jianhua's teachings. Yo, the shopkeeper has a shuttle at home. That's right, that's what my dad left behind specifically to deal with robbers, Su Huijian said casually. This statement naturally carries a warning connotation and is meant for those present to hear. I believe it will soon spread and also have a deterrent effect. Anyway, there was a lot of noise yesterday, and who didn't pay attention to it knows whether it was firecrackers or shuttles. Go, 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 go. Fan Jin had a commanding presence and saw that Su Huijian didn't show any unusual behavior and kicked Chen Lao away. This kind of thing really magnified the situation, and it's hard to say. 
it's better to let go of one more thing than another. In the future, if you encounter such a thing, just say it out loud and don't do it one by one. It's not good for you to hurt someone, Fan Jinyu whispered, taking advantage of his free time to bring Su Huijian a glass of wine. Thank you, Cadre Fan, for your concern, Kangaroo New Book, Seeking Collection, Seeking Tickets. Thank you. End of this chapter.